What if I told you right now whales are dying and fishermen can't feed their families? Want to learn how you can help fix that? Hi, my name is Joel Cohen. I'm with Sustainable Seas Technology. I'm here in the Supply, North Carolina area. I'm with our founder, Kim Sawicki, also Julie Albert. We're spending the majority of October here testing ropeless fishing gear, which I'll show you real quick. We just spent the majority of um, pretty much the whole month of September in Georgia doing the same thing. Uh, what we're doing is attempting to help commercial fishers fish again and also protect marine animals like the North Atlantic right whale, sea turtles, sharks, etc. Uh, we have various uh, gear donated to us by numerous manufacturers uh, to help with this problem. Uh, I'll show you real quick the traditional way that this is done and then I'll go through these really quick for you to, to see. So traditionally, uh, this is a pot trap fishing uh, situation. So what that means is you have a trap and you throw this trap overboard. It's got a line that goes to the surface with a buoy on it called a, a, an end line. And that's, it, you identify your, your traps on your chart plotter or your GPS, but you also come up to them on your boat to find your buoy so you can hook them and pull them up. Well, at any t given time, there's approximately a million end lines floating in the water column from Canada all the way down to all of North America. There's up to a million lines. Uh, that's during whale migrations. It's during sea turtle migrations. All these animals are, are uh, swimming freely and they, it's basically a minefield of lines that they, can, they get tangled in. Uh, while we're here doing this, six days ago, we have a new case of a four-year-old juvenile male, uh, basically a baby boy uh, that's entangled in fishing gear right now. Uh, one of these lines, uh, when North Atlantic right whales eat, they open their mouth wide and they, they eat copepods. There's tiny little uh, crustaceans that they eat. Well, as its mouth was open, the line went in that way. It's cutting deep into the whale's, basically its jaw. It's, it's, and and it's a, it, the, the whale tries to get it off. It tries to spin and swim to get this gear free. Unfortunately, when they spin, it tangles them up even more. And they are basically dying a slow, horrible, painful death. At the same time, we have fishers who are trying to feed us. They're going out to do something they've always done, just like whales have always done when they go out swimming. Fishers go out to catch us shrimp and crab and uh, uh, lobster and, and other fish, and they're getting regulations put on them to where they can't fish or to where these uh, different regulations put a major strain on their business. The regulations are put in place for a good reason. However, sometimes it's not, it doesn't match the reality and it's extremely difficult on their business. Uh, they're, we're losing commercial fishers. They're, they're, even with COVID adding another layer up to it. So this gear I'm gonna show you really quick is meant to solve two problems. One, keeps our American commercial fishers fishing and stops us from slowly hurting and killing marine animals like North Atlantic right whale, sea turtles, sharks that all get tangled up in this situation. So here's multi, multiple different gears from uh, multiple different manufacturers. It's very expensive. They've let, uh, let us borrow this so we can test it with real fishermen. We're under a special permit to even be able to use this. Uh, this is not something you can do even if even if you have a permit to fish for what we're doing right now, black sea bass, sometimes it's not economically viable uh, due to those regulations. Yeah, you might get that get that uh, uh, endorsement, but to go out and get the fish, you got to bring the gear back a certain time. It's extremely difficult to make profit on it. So we're losing our commercial fishermen. They go off to do other things. This can keep us fishing. If, if, if we lose our commercial fishery, we're gonna have other countries fishing for us and we're gonna import more seafood. And they're not gonna follow the regulations that we do in the US. We have some of the best regulations in the world and other countries do try to follow us. So this is the next thing here. We can get rid of that end line. We can get rid of tangling up whales and animals. And it's basically by using all this different gear from all these different manufacturers. Uh, we've got Edge Tech, Assured, Lobster Lift, Theo Marine, Subsea Sonics, Desert Star, and all these systems are meant to do the same thing. Get rid of that end line, get rid of the buoys, keep it all down by the trap so these animals can swim free and our fishers can keep fishing. This is a quick little demonstration of how it works. Imagine there's a trap down here. We hook this to the trap. This floats just above the trap. The buoy and the end line are all contained right down by the trap. 
There's no rope going to the surface. Nothing for them to t get tangled in. You come over with your boat. You have a, a transducer, sends an acoustic signal down to your receiver. The receiver pops the release. It opens the bag. Your buoy floats to the surface, brings your rope to the surface. This allows you to keep it all contained out of the water column. You pull up to it on your boat. You hook it, pull it up on your hauler like you normally would. And we go back to fishing and we go back to keeping our animals safe. So our group is Sustainable Seas Technology. We are self-funded. We have manufacturers lending us gear. We have fishermen and, and, and women and boat captains all donating their boat, their time, their fuel, their bait to help us do this. They know they, they're fishermen are some of the best environmentalists out there. They really they love being outside in the ocean and, and seeing all these animals. They don't want to see whales entangled. They don't want to see sea turtles entangled. We hear stories of how they untangle them. This can help all of this, solve all that problem, but we really need your help. We are spending our own money, our own time to do this. We really need donations, whatever you can give. It is, we are a 501c3. This will be a tax, uh, tax uh, write-off for you. If you do donate to us, $5, $500, $5,000, whatever you can afford, this is directly going to help both our American commercial fishers and all of our animals like the beloved North Atlantic right whale that is now critically endangered. We've lost 31 from 2017 to 2019. That 31 does include ship strikes, but 86% of North Atlantic right whales have been entangled in fishing gear. We have photographic evidence that 86%, 50% of those have been entangled more than once. So we're here with the fishermen doing this. We need help if you can. We understand it's difficult times with COVID, but if there's any way you can help, please donate. We will put a link in this at the bottom of this. Please check out our website, sustainableseastechnology.com or .org. We own both of those. Uh, and thank you very much.